Hi folks, this is Hector Garcia, CPA and Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how can you import a journal entry into QuickBooks Online if you already happen to have a journal entry in an Excel file. Now, QuickBooks Online does not have a built-in module that allows you to import journal entries. So we are going to use a third-party app called Sassant Excel Transactions. I will show you how to get that third-party app. But first, let's make an assumption that you have a journal entry that looks like this. You have a column that says journal entry number. That's just going to be the reference number of your journal entry. You have a column that says memo, which is what type of overall memo you're going to put attached to that specific journal. We have a column for account. This is where all your chart of account accounts are going to go into. And then we have a column for amount where you're going to have positive values as debits and negative values as credits. So if you happen to have a spreadsheet that looks like this, in addition, you could also have a description, name, class, and location. Those things can import as well. But for simplicity's sake, we're just going to have these five columns here. Journal entry number, journal entry date, memo, account, and amount. Now for setup purposes, you can download a sample spreadsheet that contains this template from the Sassant website. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description below so you know exactly uh, how to download it if you want to kind of play with it first before you get the app. You are going to need your spreadsheets to look like this one way, shape or form. Uh, that way Sassant can read them and can import them into QuickBooks Online. Anyway, so a couple of things important to note. Journal entry number, that needs to be the same number all the way down if that is meant to be the same journal entry. If you're going to have multiple journal entries, for example, let's say that these two lines here will be a separate journal entry. So these two lines here highlighted, then you would have to mark these as two. So Sassan knows that these two are part of one journal entry, not all part of the same. For, for the time being, I'm making this whole thing part of one journal entry. Now under journal date, you can have just the date on the very first line. You don't need to have the date all the way down, although you can do that. And for the memo, you only really need the memo on that first line. So that being said, this is how we have the spreadsheet already. We have it uh, saved in our computer somewhere. And now we're going to take this spreadsheet and import it as a journal entry into QuickBooks Online. So first you have to get the app. So you're going to click on the apps tab on the left hand side of the screen. And then you're going to search for Sassant, S-A-A-S-A-N-T. There it is. Excel transactions importer and deleter. I call it Sassan because that's the maker. You, we're going to click on get app now. Okay. And then once you get the app, you're going to have a 30 day free trial that allows you to import um, a number of rows. I think it's 200 in total. And then you, I guess you'll figure it out later on in the future if you need to use it for more than a month. Now, also, that's the price as of the date of this video. I don't know what the price will be in the future. I'm not associated with them. They're not even paying me to do this video. This is just the tool that I use to import. So letting you know how that works. So once the app is connected, uh, you're going to be able to click on my apps and that's going to be uh, right there and then. So then I can click on action here on the right hand side and click on launch. I'm going to 30 day free trial. So this will tell me exactly what my current limit is on my free trial. So I'll click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on where it says browse file because I'm going to select that Excel spreadsheet uh, that I had opened earlier. Uh, this guy over here, I'm going to select the spreadsheet and upload it into Sassant. So I'm going to click here on browse file. I'll select my spreadsheet and click on open. Then I'll click on submit. Then it's going to ask me which sheet would you like to use? Because I'm using the template that has a whole bunch of sheets with every single transaction type that you can import into Sassant. So there's 24 total uh, transaction or list types you can import into Sassant. So I have the data right here on the journal entry sheet. So I'm going to select the journal entry sheet. Then I'm going to tell it the type of transaction. So in this case, it's going to be a journal entry. Then the mapping should work automatically because I used their template. I shouldn't have to do any manual mapping. If you have your own spreadsheet, you're going to have to go into each of these lines and select which of the columns inside your spreadsheet match that line. So you can have your own spreadsheet, your own template as well. But I strongly recommend you use their template, which I attached or put a link in the description so you can see what it looks like. That way you don't even have to do any more mapping afterwards. You use their template. You, this is always going to just work straight. So we're going to click on uh, review. This will give us a quick preview 
letting us know kind of what's going on, lets you know how many total lines are here, if there are any potential errors on the import, on the settings tab, you can uh, make a couple of changes in terms of uh, the date formatting, whether or not you want an email, if something uh, comes in, uh, there's a couple of journal entry uh, options, like uh, do you want us to automatically create a customer or a vendor? If you have something in there and they're not on the database list, you can play with those settings for the time being. I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm just going to click on upload. It will tell you that the upload is in progress. You can either wait or click somewhere else out. Usually it takes a minute or less uh, for this to finish. And it will say file import is completed. I can click on show results so I can see what that looks like. And it'll send me to a quick summary of the transaction so I can see what it looks like in Sasant. I can click on the QuickBooks icon and that will take me straight into the transaction inside QuickBooks. Or I can click on undo and it will undo that work. I'm going to go back into QuickBooks here for a second and I'm going to go into the dashboard. And then I'll click on the search box up here so I can see my history of transactions. This was a blank, uh, a blank file that didn't have anything. So it's only one transaction there. So I'll click on that. And there it is. You see the journal entry was imported uh, straight into uh, QuickBooks from Sasant from an Excel file. So hope that made sense. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, share it, and be in the lookout for my channel with more videos like this on QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, and different tips and tricks on how to do data entry faster and how to do data import uh, with tools like this and with some built-in tools. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. You want to sign up for my advanced webinars. The link is on the description. It's called Advanced Webinars by Hector Garcia CPA. They're going to be monthly advanced webinars on QuickBooks Online focused on advanced things like this, importing data, data import shortcuts, how to do things faster, better, specialized industry-based tips and tricks for accounting professionals and QuickBooks Online power users. The webinar is free to the public to watch live every third Thursday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern, but you will have an option to subscribe to have access to the replay so you can watch over and over and over in our portal and have access to the slides, additional PDF training materials, templates, and any other examples that we used during the advanced webinar. So go ahead and sign up for it. Start watching some of the live ones and hopefully you'll become a member and have access to the more premium content we'll have specially on advanced QuickBooks online related content. Thanks.